Hello there. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, a customization to magazine extension, iThemes Builder magazine extension, uh, in which we're going to have the uh, you know white post W I D E if I'm pronouncing that right, white posts at the top. In this case, I have one, two, three, and four, and below these white posts, we have the remaining posts showing up in columns in the uh, the standard magazine extension style. So this would be the latest post. This is uh, latest minus one, minus two, minus three, and this is the post you know which is uh, before this post, and it goes on like that. And these white posts, uh, by the way, which we can control, you know, how many white posts to that would appear here. In this case, it is four, but we can always change it to one, two, three, or any number. And these white posts appear only on the first page. So if you go to the second page. If I click on next page and go to the second page, um, it is going to show the remaining posts uh, in the column style. It's not going to show in the uh, in the white white posts. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, how this is done. So essentially, what you have to be doing is I'm going to give you a zip file which contains the uh, it's called magazine.zip. Uh, this is, uh, as I told you, which is a modified uh, magazine which comes by default with Builder. So just place this uh, zip file in the uh, extensions uh, directory inside your child theme. So in this case, I happen to use the Acute Blue child theme. So inside that, there was no folder by the name extension. So I have created it manually. And inside this extensions, I have placed the zip file and then I've extracted the zip file so that uh, there's a folder by the name magazine and it contains all these files. Once you have extracted, you can of course delete the zip file. So this is no longer needed. And inside this magazine, what actually does this magic is functions.php. So if we take a look at the uh, look at the code inside this functions.php. Uh, there are a few things that I want to tell you which are important things that you might want to change. First thing is this posts per page equal to four. So this is what this is one of the two places where you have to set this number uh, that controls the number of uh, white posts. Okay, so in this case it is one, two, three, and four. Let's say I want to show only two white posts. I'm going to change it here, and you have to make this change in one more place. So if I scroll down, uh, yeah. It says my offset so this also should be the same number which we have given earlier so let's say 2 so I'm gonna save this file and if I come here and refresh it's gonna show us the first two posts in the white uh, white style and then the remaining posts in the columns and if you go to the next page you can see like this okay and Let's see what else can be changed here. Yeah, so you see this line. Currently, for the white posts, we have the except in functions.php. So it's gonna uh, use the standard WordPress except and show that over here. As you probably know, uh, all the formatting is stripped in WordPress ex except by default. If you would like to re retain the formatting, then you gotta edit this post and then you have to manually type or paste the except with HTML inside the except field and that will appear here along with formatting, you know, paragraphs, anchor links, etc. And when you are using this uh, the except function call here, the number of words which appear here is controlled by this uh, uh, in this line return 45 so if I change this to say 65 and refresh uh, as we can see it has uh, increased the number of uh, uh, words in the except so I'm gonna put this back to 45 and whatever uh, length we specify here is the number of words in this except and this uh, is going to be used in uh, 
white posts that means here and here as well as here so if I change this value to say 65 again and refresh ah, okay just uh, let me make it 50 and refresh I can see that uh, this uh, va this value it changes the except length all over that means in the white posts as well as in the column posts here in the magazine style posts okay so if you don't want that to happen if you want to control the uh, length of except in the white posts independently then there are two options okay where is it yeah so instead of the except what you can do is let me just comment this out you can use this line the content uh, read more with an arrow so if I uh, save this file come back here and refresh now it's gonna show the entire post now the reason why I'm getting two featured images is because this featured image is coming from the code inside the functions extensions functions.php whereas this image is uh, inserted or embedded inside the post okay and the reason why read more is appearing for the second post is because I have used the uh, read more tag uh, quick tag inside the post editor of this post okay so let me just comment this out and I'll show you one more uh, method wherein you can uh, have the except but instead you can set a except length that is the number of words which uh, should appear in this except in this excerpt independent of what is defined below so I'm using a plugin called the except re reloaded once you have installed and activate activate the plugin you can use a line like this and here we can specify the except length and read more arrow what is to appear you know in this here so if I have this and if I'm gonna ref if I refresh the site we can see this looks much like an except like how we had earlier when you know we were using the except function call except uh, we can actually independently independently control the except length so if I say set this to 70 and refresh so it's going to show us 70 words in this except here whereas the number of uh, uh, the except length in the column post is controlled by what we have uh, here in this in this place okay so that is one thing that you can uh, play around with to get your desired look and the second thing I want to tell you is the featured image that we have here uh, for the white posts it's coming from this code uh, the post thumbnail it's a function call and in which we are specifying the name it is a thumb so inside this uh, extensions and magazine extension is a folder called lib library inside that is called in a file called image size.php so you have to uh, go inside this image size.php and here i've specified the width and height of the featured image in the white posts as 120 by 120 so you can change this value here Say 150 by 150 come back here and refresh as you notice uh, nothing happened it is supposed to actually update the images and make it 150 by 150 and the reason why this happens is because um, when you change the when you change the dimensions of uh, uh, the featured image via add image size sometimes in fact I have observed that this 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 has to be done every time as long as these images uh, have not been regenerated earlier so what you got to do is you have to go to dashboard and then you have to search and install a plugin called regenerate thumbnails so once you have installed that uh, activated that plugin you would be going to tools and regenerate thumbnails and then you got to click on this button regenerate all the thumbnails
So here you can see that it is generating the 150 by 150 size which we have specified just now in the functions.php. So now we can go back to the website and we can see that the thumbnails have increased, uh, the dimensions of the thumbnails, it's now 150 by 150. Okay, this is how we increase the or control the size of the thumbnail images in white posts. Okay, and uh, let's see, let's go back to functions PHP. Okay, so in the in the second loop, uh, as you can see, this is for the second query. This is the second loop. So this second loop is what uh, outputs or prints the uh, posts in column style. Here we have the post thumbnail function call, with, uh, and we are passing it a parameter it max in thumb. So again, if you go to image size, you can control that over here. As you can see, it is now 350 by 150. So it's 350 by 150. If you want to change the size of those images, you can make the change here and come back to your website, refresh. If the change does not immediately reflect, you go back to the dashboard, tools, region thumbnails, and regenerate the thumbnails and then refresh the web, web page and it'll be fine. Okay, and uh, I want to tell you one more thing. See, uh, this is the acute blue child theme and I have added this, uh, these styles. Uh, let me show you what this does. So if I comment out that one and refresh, notice what happens. By default, uh, the column uh, magazine style uh, columns, you know, they take three columns. So whatever is the width of that element, the columns are going to fill that. So for example, let's say I edit this layout and then I modify the settings of my content module and then currently I have two right sidebars. If I select no sidebars, save the layout, go back to my site. Okay, so what's happening here is that uh, the width of each column is set in percentage. So right now, if I start inspecting uh, this place and go to say this one, yeah. So magazine post trap. So that means each column uh, is set to have a width of about 33%. So it's going to divide, uh, it's going to show three columns. So instead of three columns, let's say I want to show two columns. So I would make it something like 49. And that would show the uh, only two columns. You can try 50, but usually that wouldn't work. Yeah, as I told you, it should just jumps down, goes below. So make it 49 so that is what I've done here uh, magazine post trap with a dot because it's a class I'm setting the width as 49 percent and since we're um, you know the default value of the 32.9 or something was set inside the magazine uh, extension CSS we got to use important to override it so let me just undo it Okay, and this, these two, uh, entry content more A, entry content more A hover, these, uh, these are for basically styling this read more here. If we comment this out, and if I refresh this, you can see it looks very plain. Of course, you got, uh, these uh, style rules might not apply for the child theme that you are using, but for this child theme, uh, child theme I have basically copied these styles which are there for these uh, hyperlinks and then I've applied them here. Okay, so hope you found this uh, helpful. Have a good day.
Bye.